to an all-new episode of The Mix. I'm Lizzie. Aria. Abby. And I'm Craig. So this week on The Mix, we have a lot to talk about, from the kickoff of the Winter Olympics to Ellen's new role on Isle. Sit back and relax as we bring you the latest and greatest topics. <laughs> So I had a question for you. Does having the Olympics in Canada automatically make it special? Oh, <laughs> Does that mean? Yeah, that's me. Oh, that's just place my heart for Canadians. Yeah, okay, we're going to bash our neighbors. Have you seen that terrible opening ceremony? It was just it ridiculous. Was, they had like yeah. a slam poetry guy about all about Canada. Dancers. That was pretty cool. You have the fiddle things that you have in like a fiddle and tap dance contest with itself. <laughs> oh yeah, all those yeah. tattoos he had. He was always that We thing. got a little skeptic in the corner, but let's talk about the sad athletes from Georgia. Yeah. Oh, right. the, the, the loser. Okay. The, why is this considered like an event, like people compete in? It's like it's a dare. Let's take this sled and have it shoot down a, a nice little little thing. The jackass yeah. guys wouldn't even do that stuff. I would just like memorize it and like memorize like where to lean and stuff, because like otherwise I would just like a slide, you know. Otherwise, do what he did is you die. You'd yeah. Shoot off the thing and you crash. Supposedly, the international like luge federation like declared it was safe when it was built. Yeah, I heard it's the fastest you're, track shoot, in the world. you're like shooting down this tunnel of ice on a sled thing up with like metal like blades as, as they're <laughs> playing. <laughs> of, of course, it's gonna be dangerous. You're gonna fly off somewhere and crash or flip over or get your head cut off with the blades. About, like the top 12, they're worried about like it's like ranking like 13 below that they would die. <laughs> like, I, just, I just have to say, some whatever engineer built that steel pole thing is a loser. <laughs> oh, 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 we're, 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 oh, we have more jokes about the Olympics. Huh? Yeah. Hey, what about what about Sean White? Everyone loves Sean White. Yeah. He went to uh, Ginger. Ginger. So proud of Ginger. He's hardcore. Ginger's unite. He's a daywalker. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, that, in the last run he did, he could have just slid right down and would have won, won it. But yeah. like his last um, up, he did this crazy like. I don't know what it's called. I think it should call it the Sean White. Just like the three Sean spins White. and two backflips or whatever he landed it. I think that just shows like his dedication to the sport and he's not just doing it just to win medals. Like he's yeah. doing it because he loves it. So he could have taken the easy way out, but he decided to please his fans and everything, which was good. Well, can we talk about his cussing on the podium? Or what do you think about that? Uh, it's, you know, it's their fault for putting it for putting Exactly. Why would they he's put that on there? He's supposed to know he's on there. camera. Yeah. Right now I know I'm on camera, so I'm not going to swear. Yeah. He didn't know he's on camera. Yeah, if he's celebrating and he needs, feels like he needs to swear, then go ahead. I would if probably you, too. If yeah. you're telling your public, ah, yeah. If I won two gold medals, I'd be swearing all the time. It's like, F <laughs> yeah, F yeah, USA. Yeah, just follow around with a and be like, yeah, really. <laughs> and he's a ginger, so we can like give him credit for that. And he brought home um, a gold for the U.S. Yeah. Speaking of which, the Canadians had they not won a gold on their own turf, they won a medal. They won a medal. The well, they only, only, they've, they've won seven so far. Okay. Oh, okay. But America's at fifteen. Yeah. So I mean, well, I mean, their main sport is like curling. Uh, I don't call that a sport. Yeah. When, 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 when one of your players, like the female, one of the females on the uh -oh. on the team of of uh, the curling is. Five months pregnant. Not yeah. just like pregnant, yeah. like five months in the pregnancy. How did they like let her do it? Is it like the stress? Like, oh, you, you, you just stress? You just <laughs> roll something down the lane. That's and then you scrub it. Scrub, 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 scrub. Like vacuuming. Like, like, it's like, like bullying for toddlers, you know? You just let it go. There's no skill. You just push it down. <laughs> you know? Does she have like, like a special uniform? <laughs> but she's five months pregnant. This woman is my hero, you guys. You know, I understand. I don't and she can vacuum, I bet, with the best of them at home. I mean, you think she makes a mistake and shoots the baby into the rock. I love the funny thing. Just put the baby on a thing and just scoot it off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, it should probably be. even be a sport to begin with, is my question. It's not a sport, uh, it's like an Olympic. It's, like it's a Olympic leisure thing. activity like croquet. I mean, is croquet in the Olympics? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't think like, there's so many games. Like, you could like, watch the Olympics for like, hours and hours and hours. There's and so ends. much stuff. I can't watch all of it. Ooh, random notes. Did you know that the little blue lines on the slopes are the first time used in Olympic history? What are they for? They're for like depth perception, so you can oh. see. Isn't that awesome? All right, yeah, we're going to quit to a short break right now. We'll be right back. Now we're going to go to Shantae on the streets to see what people had to say about the Olympics. Hey guys, it's Shantae Sims here on the street to see what Coogs think about the Olympics. So have you been watching the Olympics lately? Yes, I have. What's your favorite event? Well, there's several. One, the speaker skating, and knowing that the U.S. beat Canada in the hockey game. That's my favorite so far. What's your favorite event? 
Um, yesterday I watched the, the ski cross, and it's a new event this year, and it was really cool because it was just like a cross between uh, motocross, uh, you know, skiing, bull riding. I mean, just like a crazy event. I mean, really fast downhill, very little room to move around. It's just a really intense skiing sport, and I really liked it. I'm an avid curling fan. What's curling about? Can you explain it a little bit? Um, not really, but they push the stones. That's what they're called, the stones. And the person who has it closest to the middle part button it, uh, gets a point for that match. But somehow you can get, like, two points in one thing. And I don't really know exactly, but it just gets intense. And USA kind of sucks, unfortunately. Um, I've been watching the short track racing because I've actually had a friend from high school who's in it. And so yeah, that's the only bet I've really watched. I remember about you. It's exciting. What about you? Um, I've been watching the snowboarding and ski races. That's what I've been watching. <laughs> Downhill skiing. Any reason why? Well, it's fun looking at Whistler and...